All right, so let's try it this way. If it freezes up, then we know it's not an angel problem. <laughs> it's a Canva problem, but I'm hoping this works better for you guys. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you can watch this at some point. So if you um, are just joining in, basically I had some technical difficulties on StreamYard. It was freezing up, but you can go back and I will also put the, um, the video or the presentation on there. And I just talk about the differences between Canva and Canva free in Canva Pro, which is really important to know. And then I started sharing how to use it. So I'm going to show you how this thing works. And let me just make sure screen share. Okay. So bring all this over here. All right. So basically we had gone in and um, let me just make sure before I get going that there is nobody on Facebook going, I can't get in. <laughs> so, Hi, well, this will be fun because I can see some people now. Okay. I'm tagging everyone that was part, the newest part of it and dot. Okay. All right. So we are live. Hopefully you can see my screen here and I won't freeze up. That's what I'm hoping. All right. So basically I had just shown you how in your home screen, you can go and find whatever you're looking for and start a design. So you can rewatch that part. Hopefully no problem. All right, so now we are in the actual design part of it. And like I was just showing, if you wanna change, hi, Erica, if you wanna change this part of the design, you can hit elements and then it will bring up things that are similar. Can you see the screen? <laughs> okay, great. You can, you can change this so it might be somebody that they think are similar to her. However, if you're like, ah, I'm not really seeing it there, then don't take their suggestions. And just hit, you know, woman or something that you think would be similar to what you're looking for, for your logo specifically. And all of these designs will come up that you can use. So let's just say you want to use her, then you can delete your first person here and then move her back to that center space. And you can make her bigger. All you're doing is taking these little dots and making her bigger. You can move her, drag her around. You can do whatever you want with her. And right now she is in the background. And how I know that is all your words show up. And if you want her to be front and center, then you can hit this button right here called position. And you can then make her in the front. You can bring her to the front. This is not letting me do that for some reason, but we'll do it at some other, in some place. Um, it might be, maybe, here we go, position here. So if I wanted to move the words in the back, then I just hit position right here and I'm hitting back, back, and then see how it shows up behind her now instead of in front of her. So we're not gonna do that because we wanna see the words, but that's just how that you can play around. So all of this stuff is edit, you can edit everything. You can edit this right here and you just type in wherever you're, you know, you wanna, you want a list here and it's set up as this effect is what they call it here. So it's round. So once you unclick it, it will go round again, which is really cool. And so you can do that both sides. And let's just say you don't like that feature that it's round. Well, you can delete it or hit effect and take the effect off. There's all kinds of effects because this is kind of a one-on-one. -on -one, I don't use a lot of effects to be honest. So Unless it's already built in, I don't even mess with effects, but you can, let's you see how this has gone down. I can't really see all of it. There are going to be these little buttons here that you can move it around. So if I want to bring it around here up a little bit, I can, and then I can drag it as well. Okay. That is just me playing with my mouse. So as long as you have your mouse and your computer, you can move this around. You can do whatever you want. And there's always undo. So that's taking one of the ones they already have done and messing and playing around with it. And that's the best thing to do is find, the first step is find, do the search for whatever you're looking for. So in this case, it was a logo. Then you want to find the ones you really like and put them into your file here. I also always make a sec, I duplicate my design twice. 
um, before I start editing it. So in this case down here, there was already two, so I didn't do it here. But for this one, in case I don't want to mess it up, I just hit duplicate, which is right here. So I have an extra down here. So if I delete something and I can't get it back or something happens, I still can use it. You know, I can still get it down here, if that makes sense. So that's a good practice I found in my years of using Canva. You can always undo and there is a way to get back and find old searches for it. But um, another fun thing you can do is change your background color, which I kind of showed you earlier. But you just click on the box, which is the box for the entire thing. And you hit the little color box here. And you can pick whatever color you want. Um, they will give you some recommendations based on the already the artwork in there. Or if you have your own design palette, which you can program in here, you can put it in here. The other really fun thing that I learned um, not that long ago is you can hit, oh, it's not showing up though. Let me just hit this one. You can hit this color. No, oh, that, because okay. You can hit this box here, add a new color, and you can hit this, pick a color from your design. So you just click on that little button there. And let's say you want the background to be her color of her earrings right here. You just kind of drag it on the earring color and it should pick up that color and make the background that color, which is cool. So if you like a color in your design somewhere and you want that to be the overall background, that's how you do it. You get this little, you hit the box right here, you get the little drop thing and you can pick your color. You can also, once you have that color and you're like, oh, well, that's way too dark, you can make it lighter if you just click on this box over here. Or you could take your um, fonts and make them a different color, which all you do there is you highlight what you want to make a different color. You go to this A here, which is your font, and you can hit your color here and change the color. And sometimes it will ask you, which I think it does here, do you want to change all, all of the fonts to this color? And that's also an easy thing to do. So I just hit change all. They're all changed. I don't have to worry about going and changing everything. So once you really start using Canva, you're going to start getting all these little tips and tricks. You're like, oh my gosh, it's so fast. And you can program in there your fonts that you like to use and all kinds of stuff to make it easy. Now to change a font, if you go back down here, you just highlight it here and it gives you the name of the font that's open, that's already on here right here. So you just click that. And then here is all the fonts that they have available. It, it You can sc scroll for hours and try to find stuff. But what I often do, it will show you your most recent fonts up here. And then I, because I have my own fonts, it will show the ones I use a lot over here. So then I can click on that and it will change it. So let's just say it was a league, whatever it is, you know, and you can just play around with it until you find the font you like. You can obviously make it bigger. You can make it bold. You can make it italicized. You can do whatever you want right there. Those are your little key things for your fonts up here. Um, so that I'm not going to show you any more with this because I want to show you some other types of designs, but that shows you how cool and easy it is to find and do your logo. So again, if you don't like this right here or this, just delete it, but you really like this. You're like, oh, that looks good for my brand. And then you just find, you know, whatever you are interested in here to put and you can add it. Um, now, the other thing I did not mention is Elements not only does the um, cutesy cartoony things, it does photographs. So if you keep scrolling down, it does, it does videos too. So it gives you so many options to choose from. Like you could spend so long looking for things, but if you're, um, you just need to be specific in here. So if we do work out, if that's your brand, just keeps going out. And so you'll see photos here and you can use all of these photos. Again, if, if it's pro, you have to have pro, but let's say I like her and I want to use her in my logo, then you can just use her. You can actually make it the entire background if you want. I didn't, what, how you would do that is you would just drag her over here. Instead of clicking on her, you drag her so she can be your background. And then you can just, again, change the color of this oops, to um, be, you know, to be able to show up here. So that's the neat thing about Elements is it has so many options for you to use in here. Now, if you're like, I want to use myself, not this girl, random girl here, not a problem. 
the um, there's two ways to do that. You can go to elements and there's different frame sizes you can use. So let's just say you want to use just a regular box here for your photo and you're going to make it, you know, kind of fill the page, not maybe not all the page because you like having a little bit of a background. And then you go over here to uploads. This is if you don't have anything already uploaded in your Canva and you hit upload here and then you hit upload file and then you find your photo of yourself that you want to use. And then you just double click it. It will come into your folder here, your uploads folder, and then it's there to use. So you just drag it and you put it into your design. So now you have your picture of you, you have your font you want to use, and you are ready to go. Um, a really cool thing you're seeing a lot now is pictures of people without the backgrounds because backgrounds can get really distracted. And I use this all the time. And this is my favorite features of Canva. So what I do with that is you click on your photo here and you hit edit photo. Then there's this thing called BG remover. Now this is a pro feature. So if you have to have pro to do this and that's, that's one of the benefits of having pro. But once you hit it, it takes that background away, which is really great. So then you have a clean backdrop to use. You don't have to worry about anything, your bed being made up or whatever. And then it's ready to go here. And you would that you can then resize it if you want. You can move it around um, however, wherever you want to use it. You can add multiple pictures of yourself. So when you see me do those like multiple pictures or um, designs, it's because I've got I'm using background remover and I'm doing that. There is some other features you would see under this too. One's called magic eraser. That basically, if I want to get rid of the phone, let's say in here, I haven't played around a lot with this, but basically, it would take away the background mover and then you just brush over whatever you want to get rid of. This is a little bit more complicated because my fingers are in the way, but let's say I want to get rid of that, that, um, whatever that is tanker, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, you can also do the same. See, it didn't really work that well there. Cause I think it's my hand, but let's say I want to get rid of this and the pillow, then it will take it away. It will, however, have a little bit of a, um, issue because of the sheets, I think. So again, I haven't used this a lot and this is a pro feature. See, it makes it a little blur blurry, but it got rid of that thing. So I could get rid of stuff that way. Um, and then you would just hit edit photo and it will edit the photo. It will take it out. So that is an option as well. And there's some other new features of Canva as well that you can use, but that is creating your own logo using Canva, which is a really great one. Um, but essentially you do that for anything you want to create. So if you want to create a flyer, you just put flyer in here. I will say the more specific you can get the better. So let's say it's mother's day coming up. So mother's day flyer event, you're going to do an event for mothers or mother's day sale. Let's just say we're gonna have a sale and then everything that they think you can use to promote the mother's day sale will come up in here. And so there's tons of options, right? It's so many options. Um, so what I do, I do this exact thing. I go through here and I'm like, ooh, whatever catches my eye. I'm like, ooh, I really like that. That's cute. So again, you can star it if you want to come back to it. You can keep scrolling. You're like, ooh, that's a cute one. I can use my picture instead of her. Oh, I love the colors on this. And, you know, I try not to pick that many, but there's so many. So I have my four I like, um, and let's just say, I'm, I want to start with this one for a specific reason. Remember, you can also scroll down because you like that one. It also tells you other ones you can use, but look at all these options. There are so many options to use. So I'm going to customize this template and I'm ready to go. However, this is a made for a story. Okay. And um, that's the next thing I'll show you is you can make them for specific, um, platforms. So a story is an Instagram story that you post. It's got a certain size. And I typically de design everything as an Instagram post. So it fits more, more than one thing. But if you want to fit that entire story, you want to keep it as a story. So in this case, keep that one. If you want to use that and just hit add, I want to duplicate the page. So I'm going to hit duplicate page. Actually, when I resize it, I think it makes a whole new image, but I'm going to duplicate the page in this, just to check this out really quick. I have it here and I go to resize right here. And then I'm going to just hit Instagram post. 
or I could pick Facebook posts, or you could pick, you can customize your size here if you know your size, but Instagram posts is really universal. It's one of the ones that you would use a lot and I hit copy and resize. So I'm sorry, let me go back. Cause that it did, it did give me an option where I could just resize it um, and not copy it. So I'm going to go back to duplicate and then hit resize and here. So I pick just resize here and it's going to resize. So it resizes all of them. Okay. So you would have to create a whole nother one on this case, um, another page, which is fine. So you'll have one for your story and you'd have one for your Instagram. So I'm just going to, and it won't let me undo. <laughs> I was like, I'll just undo it No, Well, you can go back to that original design and do it, but you understand, hopefully you understand resizing. However, if you look closely at this, it does not look a lot like the original design. This does not fit into that space really well. So in this case, I'm going to zoom in on the design. So use that little zoom button so I can see it better because it's hard to see. Then I'm going to just take my mouse here, highlight over the entire thing. So it's all together and I'm going to hit group. So it all stays together. So I'm going to group it together. So it's all together. What group means is I can't edit anything really right now, but you can ungroup it, which is great. And then I'm just going to drag it and try to fill in the box as much as I can doing the group, the group one. And then I'm going to hit ungroup and I'm going to take the things that did not change and I'm going to resize them here. So these little white box, you just hit that and then you can move them over and it will move that white box over. You can do the same for the top of the box. If you want the top of the box to show up in your design, you just take it and do that here. So then it's all in the box looking more like the original one. You can also take the, the artwork, make it bigger here. So I want it to fill the page more. That's looking good. Um, and then you can make you can make this bigger if you want here or here. You can change the size here. I like to use the drag method because it just shows me better. It's easier. But in this case, since there's a lot of words, um, oh, it's all together. So that's good. Sometimes you have to like make it bigger here, which is still make. So you just click that it makes the font bigger here and then you can lift it up and then you can move this here. So then you have your image. <clears throat> Again, you can change the copy just by clicking on it. You can change the font. You can change the color of the font. You can add more elements. You can add your picture. They will do things on here like really great website, which is there, which means don't you, this is one of the biggest things you need to look out for is if they have their own copy in here, you want to make sure it says your stuff. So in this case, I would put my website and then um, it would be my customized one. The other cool thing is for websites and links, you can link it to your site. All you do there is you just um, highlight it and see how that link bar came up right there. So I hit link and then I just go to my website. Um, in this case, I'm not, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna find a website. Let me just find whatever. I'll do Facebook. <laughs> um, where did Zoom go? This is what happens when you get all, you do funky things outside of, okay, here we go. All right. Um, and then I just go back here and I put my website in here, copy and paste, and then it's linked in there. So when you download this image, it's going to show up with that link. And so when somebody sees this image and they click on it, it will go to your website. So that's a really cool feature. You can add links into this. So right here, it could be your shopping link here. It could be your shopping link here. It doesn't matter. You can add links anywhere you want just by double clicking it. And that link button comes all the way up. So that's really fun. So that is taking a flyer and making it your own. Um, again, you can change a bunch of other things with it, but I'm going to show you other stuff. So I'm not going to go into more of that, but that kind of gives you an example of a flyer. Another one I use a lot is, um, what do I use? I use presentations a lot for presentations I do. And let's just do like, well, let's just do social media posts. So this is cool. So let's just say we want to do a Facebook cover image, which is something I know a lot of you guys do for your um, VIP pages. Um, this is cool because 
Of course, my mouse is now dead, <laughs> um, but I can use my computer mouse. So just bear with me for a minute. But you can go down here and it's already sized to Facebook. So you don't have to resize or go, what size does it need to be to show up in a Facebook in my cover image? And then again, the same concept. You just scroll down until you find one you like. So let's say we like this one. This is kind of fun. Got a lot of images here. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to customize it and then I can go to town on it. Okay. So in this situation, you either want to use a lot of pictures of yourself, which I probably wouldn't do, or you want to use, let's say a lot, I'm going to do this for Zaya because you guys sell Zaya, but I have already in, I already have in my, um, my folders for Canva because you can create folders, which I'll show you in a minute. I have a bunch of Zaya stuff that I can go ahead and use. I have my own images of me and Zaya and I have Zaya generic stuff already here. So if I just wanna use a bunch of these, I take the image, drag it to the box, put it in, drag it to the box, put it in, drag it to the box, put it in. So it's super easy and fun. Now in this case, um, she, you see how her face is cut off? I think that's how the picture is. Let's say we, let's go to another picture here. Um, yeah, let's go here. And we're like, I really wanna show, her face more. Basically, if you want to move her around, you just double click her. And as, if the picture allows it, you can move it and change it. This one, it will not let us move it, but I'm trying to find one that has something you can edit in here. But um, let me see if I can do one with a picture of me. So it makes sense. Okay. So let's just use that. Okay. Yeah, no, it crop. Okay, they've changed it. <laughs> hey, crop. No, just this is a new thing for them. Because you used to be able to hit it and you could move the photo up and down. It might be the size of the photo, or because we're using this is probably what it is. Because we're using a template already built in, that template, we this one we originally found, it probably is not going to let us do a lot of editing with these photos, except for we could remove the background, possibly. But just know that when you're using somebody else's template, it's going to make it harder to actually change everything in here. But this is how easy it is. You don't have to delete stuff or anything. Then I can go in and I can change colors. So if I don't like this color here, I just click on the color. I can hit... Um, whatever color I like, or, um, and it's point of the colors that are already in there, or remember that little plus box I can hit, I can hit this little um, thing. And let's say I want it to match that bomber bra color and it, it goes and matches the bomber bra. Or if I want this one to match the color of that brown, I just hit this and hit the doodad and go to the brown. And then it makes it the brown. So that's really fun. And then, like I mentioned too, if you scroll down, it will show you other recommended colors based on the pictures that you have in here. So that's really fun. So that's really a cool way. And then you can also, let's add some text because this one doesn't have any text in it and we want to add text. So we go up here to our text box. I haven't really shown you that. And you hit text here. The cool thing about text is it gives you a couple of options up top. Or you can scroll down and it gives you like more design stuff. So you're like, oh, I like this. So let's just say we, we like that. We hit here, we hit it there. And then we just double click it and we can put whatever we want. Again, we can change the colors. We just go up here to text color and we can change out the color and it will change it all. Um, now you see how there's two different colors. There's an effect going on here. So if you want to change the other color, you just hit effect. And you scroll down and you can find the other color here and then you can change that color down there. That gets a little bit more complicated, but that's how you do that font. Or if you just want a regular text box, just hit add text box here. It will add it somewhere, there it is. Um, and then you click on it and you start typing. I don't know why it's not, okay, add text box. I always just had like add subheading here. And then you can move it around. You can change the font. You can say, I'm going to say with Janice because she's here and Erica because y'all are both here. Um, so then you have your other sub copy here and you want to change the color so you can see it. So you just go that little A for text color. Let's make it white. 
and you want to make it a little bigger because you can't really read it, um, that's when you would drag this or you could go up here and make it bigger. Another fun thing you want to do sometimes is add logos. So let's say you want to add the Zaya logo on here. What I normally do is go to elements and hit the photo circle right here, frame, this little photo circle, and then put it in the corner where I want my logo down here. So I want the logo like in the little corner here. And then I go, I already have the logos uploaded in my own folders if that's the best way to do it is upload things and create folders, which I'll show you in a minute. So I just hit that and I hit my logo and then you have to drag it in that little photo box and then it will show up in your photo box. Or if I want to use the blue one, you know, whatever. So super easy to do. Now, if I just want to use a logo and not worry about that, that little circle, I can just hit it and it's there. And if I want to get rid of that white background, I just hit that edit photo as long as I have pro and it will remove the white and just keep the copy. So that's awesome. <clears throat> and like I said, there is so much new stuff they've added on here that you can do. And it's really cool. Um, but you, you it just start easy. So the biggest thing you want to do is just go to your home, do the search, whatever you're wanting to do. Business card, another good one to do. So business card here, put it here. And again, you can get really specific if you want. You find one that you like. If you want to use pictures, I always try to find it as close as possible to what I like. So I don't have to edit a lot of it. And let's say you like this one. Now that's, you know, cute, simple, customize. Then you just go in, you literally add your name. You could add your whatever your thing is. And then it gives you, we haven't done page one and two like this, but it, this one has it like this. Um, and you can also go down here and it will look like this. There's a couple of different grid models, but you click two and then you add it, you know, you just edit it like normal. And you can change it, you know, again, you can change the font, change the colors, change the size, whatever, move it around, change your stuff. The other thing you can do with Canva, which is actually, they do a great job. It's quick and it's fast as you can print with them. Look at that right here, print. They got it all, they have it dialed in. So then you just hit print, you hit continue. It asks you how many you need made. You can get, you can pick it up in your local town typically the next day, or you can get mailed to you. Um, so $15 for 50 business cards. That's really good. So that's the cool thing now, all this stuff, you can quickly do it and then get it done. Um, and just a reminder too, you, you do want to try to change the names of your documents, get into a habit. That's one of the first things I do because we're going to talk about folders now um, so you can get things organized. So now you have several things you've designed. And if you scroll down past the little search box, it's your best friend. And you get on here, you see your designs that you just, we just did. And right now they're not in any folders because you don't have folders, but you see this area right here called projects. That is where your folders go when you create folders. So all you do to create a folder is you go to this little button right here and you hit move to a folder and it's going to say, I already have folders, so I've got stuff here, but I'm going to hit create new and I'm going to say create the Canva class. And I just hit add to folder and it's going to be in that folder and you can see that it's listed in that folder here. So if I want to find it fast, I can go into projects and it will show me that folder. I haven't changed the name and this is why changing the name is so important because now when I go into search, I can search my own projects and hit business cards and that business card is going to show up in that search, which is awesome. So that's why you want to change your name and you want to create folders as much as possible. So we'll go back to our home and we'll scroll down. So that's something I try to do every week is organize these in folders or right when I'm doing them, if you get into a system. The other cool thing is, let's say you love this flyer. You're like, oh, I, I, let me go down. Actually, I'll go down with some. I do, I do stuff every week, right? So I have the newsletter I do every week and I do a little flyer to promote that newsletter. So I just created the first one and what two things you can do is hit make a copy 
right here and it will make a copy of it and then you can make a new one. Um, in this case, I just use the same one and I go to the very last one I did at the bottom. I hit make a copy right here, duplicate page. And I just change the date and I change the photos here. I might also change the elements that you see here, the like, which I did today. I All I did here to do that is I went to elements and I hit spring and all of this fun stuff came up and I just picked and choose stuff. I chose that one and the bike and this, and I added those instead of the ones from last week. Last week was the sunshine. I don't do that every week, but I do that in season. So that's if I'm doing like something over and over again, I just keep the same document and I go to the last one. But let's say you um, like doing, you do, I do presentations um, a lot. So, or like new releases. Okay, new releases is a good one for you guys. Um, now I do these in a separate program, like I mentioned, so I'm not sure I can edit these here, but I have done them before in here. So let me try to find, um, it might take me a little bit. Let me search new releases <laughs> and see what comes up. Um, oh wait. And when you search, you have to hit projects to, to search your own stuff. Okay. Here's an old one I did before. So I, I don't want to edit this one because it's from an old one. So I'm just going to hit make a copy here and then I go back to my home screen and there's the copy and the reason the, how I know it's a copy it says copy of so now I just click on it and I change the name to new releases and I put the date so let's just say it's new releases April 18th 19th um, and then I go down here and I want to update her these pictures right Let, let's just actually I want to use this one here. I'll just use this one here. Um, so what all I have to do is go to my uploads and hit upload folders and upload my new releases, which I have already on my computer. Boom, 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 boom. Those pink joggers were so cute. How cute were those? Okay. So then I take my new releases and I just drag the ones I want to use. I don't use all of them over to the current ones. And then the only other thing I have to do is remove her background because I don't like the backgrounds in here. So I just hit that little background tool and it will take it off. You have to wait a minute um, for that to happen. And I can make her larger if I want. And you see how she's behind the new release. So then I go to position and I bring her forward into the front and now she's gonna be in front of new releases, those words. I can also move the new releases around, but I don't want to. So I just do that for all, how cute is that little boy? Oh my gosh. So I do that for all the pictures. And if it gets stuck on the old person, you can just drag, keep dragging, keep dragging. They'll move it. And then I hit edit photo, background mover, over and over again. You can also do filters on these. I don't edit, I don't like to filter anything I'm using from a court, like somebody like Zaya, cause I don't want to use their, manip manipulate their photos. And then I just do it one more time. And let's say I like this. I like the sweater a lot, but let's say I like the tank, hit edit, and then take that off. And then just play around with where you want them to be. So I kind of want her to be back here. I love him in the front. I like her where she is, but she's still, I think she's blocking off that too much a little bit. And then she's blocking this word off. So I have to move that word and it's not letting me. So you're going to move her out of the way because she's in the front. And then you have to pick these two items, which I just, I normally just um, drag my little mouse over and then I move them away from her or I just, I'm just going to delete in this case. I don't really care. And then move it back here and I can write my website. You know, I can go back to text and I can add a subheading and I can do my website on here or I can do my um, Instagram handle change the color. So you can see, once you start doing this, it's like super easy. And the cool thing is you're going to have your templates that you love already done. So literally every week, once you have a new release, one you like using, just use that and change, change those color, change those pictures, obviously change the background color if you want to, and, um, you know, play around with it and change your fonts. So that is your folders here. 
One last one I'm going to show you um, before we kind of wrap up because I know it's getting late is they they did start a new one called um, Draw, which you can draw your own stuff if you're good. And um, down, they have apps that you can use. I don't really use those at all. But down here, I also have folders within my design. And this is different from my folders for the design. This is my folders for images. So when you get, went into upload here and you uploaded these, let's just say I want to save, I want to delete these because that's also a good thing to do is go through here and delete. All you have to do is check the ones you want to delete and hit delete and they're gone. Okay. They're not going to be gone from your designs. Don't worry about that. Once they're in a design, they're in the design. You don't have to worry about it. But um, let's say I want to move this one into my folder. So I hit it right here and then the folder comes up here, move to folder. And I keep the, these under Zaya personal, I think is what I call it. So I start typing that it comes up and I save it into that folder. If for some reason you're saving something into a folder, you don't have made yet because you won't if you haven't done them when you hit this it says create a new one and you can just hit create a new one and whatever you want to call it you can call it that i'm not going to do that here because i don't need any more folders um and you can make your own folder so i have all of these folders done and they're great because then i can go and if i need like the logo fast or a personal picture of me i have a million i have my team in here like it's awesome so Definitely when you upload, that is one of the best things to do organization wise. And like I said, once a week, I try to do this because if you don't have it in a couple of weeks, it can go on and on and on and on. And you don't need all this stuff. And it just is hard to find stuff. So put it in your folders and delete it every week. You can also have videos in here, which I do do videos. You can have audios. You can record yourself. There is so much in Canva you can do. It is insane. Um, two other quick things before we wrap up. One is now that you have your design done, what you want to do is hit, you want to download it or you want to share it. So if you hit this little box here, it gives you an option. You can either share it with people and all you do for there is you click this link and anyone with the link can use the design. They don't have to sign in to use it. Or but, and the other key thing with that is you're giving them access to edit unless you just say they can only view or they can only comment, which I didn't show you comments, but I don't really use comments. And I don't think you guys will that much unless you're sharing with multiple people. So you can do it that way. Or um, you can also do a template link, which is how I use it for creativity. And I share that link with my members and they can then go and download into their own Canva files and use it themselves without messing mine up um, or you can download it. So you can hit download, you drop down here what format you want it in. I typically always do ping if it's just an image, I'm just doing the one image. Um, you might need a PDF for presentations or a video if you're doing, if there's some animation in there or, you're, or you've got three or four images and you wanna make it a video and make it a reel, all you have to do is hit this image, this video and it will, it will turn it into a video that you can use on Instagram or wherever. Um, so you just hit ping. The only other thing you need to do, if you have multiple designs, like in this case, I have 21 designs, you hit this here and I uncheck all the pages and it always shows you the current one you're working on, which is typically the one you wanna download. So I just hit that, you hit done, you hit download and it's gonna download for you. It's great. If you're downloading more than one image, it does show up as a zip file and you just have to unzip it. It's super easy to do. So that's really great. And um, the other thing that Canva did start, I think it is for pro is you can share on social and you can schedule it through Canva. I have not done that yet because I have another platform. I am going to start trying it just to see um, how it is. I think I've heard great things. You can print your designs and you can do a lot of other things. You can do QR codes, turn it into a website. Oh my gosh, y'all, it is insane what you can do with Canva. But in the case of this, I just want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to start using it and to get really comfortable with it um, and then start playing around. And they have trainings you can watch. They also, the cool thing is when we did that search before, so let's say, and you can just search via these things. So let's say search social media here. 
let's say you clicked on um, Facebook ad and you then if in this case, it just brings up a blank page for an ad. And then you scroll down here for the design. Sometimes that happens here. So you would just pick one of these. But you can also, if you find, um, let's go back to, sorry, let's go to Mother's Day. And if you find one you like here, let's say it's, I really like this designer. Let me find one. If I like her, this person. Um, you can go to Kendala, whatever, however you say that, here, and you can see all of the stuff she's ever done, and you can use it. So that's cool. So if you see somebody you really like, I highly recommend favoriting them, following them and using some of their stuff. That's really, really helpful. Um, but that in a nutshell is the basics of Canva with a little bit of twist. Like I said, they just started so many new features. I watched this event where they had like their annual meeting and there's so many new things. Um, but for the most part, that search button is your best friend play around with things. Don't be scared. You can always, you know, undo things, try to make copies of it, save stuff. And the more you do with it, the better you're going to get. And you're going to have really great designs to use. So I'm so glad. Do you, do you have any questions since y'all are on here? We're on Zoom. Hi, Janice. And you don't have to ask questions, but I am, um, I'm sorry that we had technical difficulties. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop sharing. And if you guys think of anything I'm going to do, I will do some more advanced trainings, especially when I learn to use the um, scheduling, I'll start doing that on here. But every month I'm going to do a training. I want to do one on keywords soon um, to show you how to use some of that stuff. So I will do a poll on the Facebook group page and find out what you guys want to hear and learn and good stuff but I appreciate you being here and learning thank you Angel you're welcome I love seeing you and I will post this on our main page too so if you're going to rewatch it and catch up and see anything you missed it'll be there and I'm just grateful for you guys hey I want to say a special thank you I got my box from you oh good Janice oh I'm it's, so it's going to make me cry but it means the world to be able to talk to you and to know you understand and just to know you care. I do. And I'm so glad that you um, got that. And I, and I also am glad that you reached out to me. So I'm always here. I love I, you so much. I love you too. And I, I'm sending you virtual hugs and kisses. Thank you. Same to you, Erica. Okay. You guys have a great night and we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.